when you yeah it is used by travel agents how a travel agent describes his travel plan in the simple present tense for example he would say to you like this we leave london tomorrow morning get to paris by afternoon stay there for two days and then fly for Italy no. look at this we we'll leave London tomorrow when will they leave tomorrow and when will they get to Paris tomorrow and then they, they're gonna stay there for two days and after that they will leave for Italy the travel agents describe their travel plan in the simple present tense clear now the fifth one is fifth one it is used by commentators um, used by who? commentators you'd hear commentators say Sachin hits a six Clear. Ganguly takes two runs. Now the commentators will be commenting or will be doing the commentary in the simple present tense. Sixth one in the newspaper headlines. Newspaper headlines. Let's see um, newspaper headlines. For example, um, you read in the newspaper a truck. Crush is a schoolboy on highway number 12. Sorry, uh, 20. Okay. So a truck crashes a schoolboy on highway number 20. Crashes. Does a truck crush a schoolboy every day? No, it's not like that. Is the truck in the habit of crushing the boy every day? No. Is it the daily routine of the truck to crush the boy every day? No, it is not about, we are not talking about daily routine or, or your habits. Habits. We, what are we talking about? When did the accident happen? Yesterday, a truck crushed a schoolboy on highway number 20. When? Yesterday. But when the newspaper reporter reports in the headlines, what does he say? A truck crushes a schoolboy on highway number 20. Is that clear to you? Like that. Or they would write like this, India wins. When did India win? Yesterday. But today you talk about, about India's victory in the simple present tense in the headlines. India wins. Clear? Like that. Now this was the sixth one and the, the final use of this simple present tense is when, yeah, it's to talk about the future. To talk about official future events talk about official future events for example the CM visits Kota next week when will the CM visit Kota next week but we're talking about the official future event in the present tense in the simple present tense so the simple present tense is used to talk about the future event the CM is its quota next week. Clear? Okay, one more example. The PM visits uh, the PM visits America when? Next week. The PM will go to America next week, but we're using it in the we are saying it in the simple press simple present to talk about the official future event. Clear? This was all about simple present tense and now we'll do present continuous second tense present continuous present continuous what do we do in the present continuous tense it's very simple we use is m r plus 
first form of the verb plus ing as simple as that isn't that okay and so let's talk about it we'll use is with what is with he she it and singular nouns and we'll use are with you we they and plural nouns now we'll use am with what i i am you never hear i are or i is no. yeah when it comes to the negative um yeah let's make some examples first so i am playing what chess John is sleeping. They are coming. Clear? How will you make the negative? Rahul is not sleeping. I'm not speaking. Now, what about the question? There are two kinds of questions. One is uh, the uh, the first one is the one beginning with the helping verb because and why do we begin a sentence with with a helping verb to make a question whose answer will be yes or no but we begin a sentence with wh words you know or we begin a question with wh words whose answer will not be in, 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 in yes or no so here let's make a few sentences are you are you having fun here. What are you doing here, guys? Clear? Where are they playing? Yeah, cool. This is present continuous tense. And what is... Um, yeah, so... Let's also talk about the short form of is not, am not and are not. The short form of is not is isn't and the short form of are not is aren't and the short form of am not is is that amant no now the short form of am not is not amant see to your amazement it used to be Aunt. In old-fashioned English, the short form of am not is aunt. For example, um, I'm crazy, aren't I? Yeah, they used to, used to say like this. Oh, I'm crazy. What, now? You can't say am not I? You have to say aren't I? And that is the... That is the short form of am not. Clear? But it has been replaced by ain't. Ain't. You can always use ain't. I'm crazy, ain't I? But ain't has not replaced just this aunt. The short form of am not. It has replaced a, a number of things. For example, it has replaced, you know, we can always use ain't for uh, ain't in place of is not am not, are not, has not, and have not. For them we can always use ain't. Are you getting me? I'll give you some examples. He ain't a good boy. He ain't a good boy. They ain't coming. <laughs> they ain't coming? Wow. I ain't playing. I ain't playing like that. So it's easy, isn't that? Now, let me also tell you the uses of present continuous tense. The first use of present continuous tense is uses. To talk about the things happening at the moment of speaking. To talk about the things happening at the moment of speaking. For example, 
the fan is running yeah the fan is really running i'm teaching you ain't i and it is happening at the moment of speaking i'm teaching you like that the second use of present continuous tense is it may cover a long period happening in the present not necessarily necessarily at the moment of speaking so happening in the present not necessarily at the moment of speaking for example i'll give you some examples just a minute happening at the moment of oh, not happening at the moment of speaking but but in process in the present for example you are pursuing pursuing what an mba are you pursuing an mba right now you you're learning english right now or you're just learning a grammatical topic in english right now so you are pursuing an mba not necessarily at the at the moment of speaking another thing i am writing a book i'm writing a book fine but am i am, am i writing it necessarily at the moment of speaking no i'm not i'm teaching you right now i'm writing a book means i'm writing i began it in the past and i'll continue it in the future also it may take 2 years 3 years 4 years i'm writing a book i'm in the middle of writing a book i'm in the process of writing a book clear so that was the second use of present continuous and the third use of present continuous is here for example um to talk about habits you know habits see every time i come to your home you are you are taking a bath you're always taking a bath do you take a bath 24/7 you do not but what happened actually i came to you a few times and every time you were you were in the bathroom having a bath so i say hey you're always taking a bath for habits when we talk about the habits for example every time i come to your home you're you're in bed you're sleeping so i'll say hey you're always sleeping do you have no other business you are always sleeping this girl is always eating she can't eat all 24/7 24/7 can she no but i mean every time i see her she's eating and she's so fat so i'm saying this girl is always eating Did you get me so that's all about uh, present continuous tense and we'll continue the third tense the simple so the the present perfect con pre the present perfect uh, tense next time for now goodbye take care